Hello, my chosen family. The last time I saw you guys, it was in Joshua Tree, and that was like almost a month ago. I just really needed that break. After the final and everything, I was just like exhausted. I spent time in Joshua Tree. The little time that I spent there, I honestly, all I did was like resting and just relax. Now that I'm back in the hectic, I figured that I'm just gonna share some of this experience with you. Thank you so much for like always being so understanding and always been so supportive of me, allowing me to take a break and stuff. And yes, also, I line my hair again. I feel like the reason why I always have light hair now is because it's my way of kind of like rebel against this kind of very normal conservative industry that I'm in, you know, like the medical field and all of that. I just want to have something that's still mine and the only way that I can still express myself and be kind of like a little bit of like, um, I wouldn't say a bad girl, but a bad girl. Also the month of June, you know, is basically just like pride and all of that. And I really needed that break from social media also, just because I feel like pride has become so performative. I just really need to be alone. I really need to go out and enjoy my life. In order for me to really enjoy California, I need to experience it. And it's kind of hard to experience it every single time I go out, I would just like film it. I mean, it's a way for me to like capture the moments, but certain times I just need to be in the moment. I just want to live in the moment. And I think for this whole month that I did not film at all, it's really made me have a better relationship with California. Like I went to the beach, I went to the store doing the mundane things, but like not having the camera around really helped me enjoy California. Did that make sense or like am I rambling on? <sighs> Anyways, I mean, today is the day that um, I'm just gonna run some errands. I wanna go enjoy myself. Uh, I wanna go grab some food, watch a movie, maybe do some shopping. And um, yeah, I'm glad to be back in the mundane, go back to the normal things, like my daily life, my not very exciting daily life. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. It's like 12 o'clock right now, so it's kinda like a late breakfast for me so I'm just gonna go have lunch and I'm craving Korean barbecue so um, yeah let's go first time here I'm excited men for each other staring in her dark green eyes I want to love her Get it fast to roll the dice and go with the flow. That was just like so much me. I got so full so fast. I would say that it was okay. I was spoiled with New York Korean style barbecue and it's just like way better. <laughs> but I think that this is the best they can do in the supper. And speaking of supper, I was just having a thought. I lived in the city for years and now like I'm back in the supper. Maybe that's why it takes me a while to like tolerate it. I remember when um, I was in college and one of my girlfriends, she's from Texas and it was really hard for her to tolerate like you know the city life and stuff she stayed for like two weeks even though like that two weeks we really bonded but then like she moved back to texas she was just like i cannot be in the city like this is not my scene at all and i've always like oh like why like people actually like traded everything to be in the city and like live their lives here and i think now i kind of get it because i've always been a city person all of a sudden i have to get into like this suburban life and yeah i mean it took me a year or something but i wouldn't say that i'm in love with it but there are moments that i feel like i'm in love with it like if i see sunset sunrise on the beach i'm really really happy but other than that i mean i tolerate it <laughs> i really want to wish that one day i can just come on here and i don't complain about my life here in california <laughs> I really want that day to happen, but for now, let's do some shopping. I'm getting tired of your bullshit. I'm tired of your voice. I'm getting tired of the way you leave me hanging with no choice. If you would ask me long ago, back when you seduced me, yeah, I felt. 
the thing that I hate the most about having like color hair is like the maintenance. Cosmo Pro is a pretty good store for you to like get all of that. Um, I needed like purple shampoo and stuff, so it's the perfect place for it. Okay, what's the next stop? Um, I think maybe GameStop. You guys all know I love Pokemon, so <laughs> this is me feeding the child in me in Vietnam who couldn't afford Pokemon products, all of them. Okay, uh, now let's go to Book Off. Ever since I came back from Japan, like this is my number one store. <laughs> getting my sugar cane juice. Big mistake. Huge. Cheers. So worth it. Okay, we're ready to go to the movie. Question of the day. This question is from Ayana Jones. How's it going, Vicky? Is life treating you good? It must be because you look fabulous in that purple dress. And also, Vicky, how is being in college and living in California been since you've been in that state? Definitely, in the beginning, I was really upset because it's really hard. I feel like this whole theme of this video is like me growing to love California. It's funny because the movie that I watched today is about someone found the courage to leave their hometown. And for me, it's like going back into my hometown. And I don't know, I, I, I just feel like I've judged it really unfairly. Now that I see little moments here and there, I feel a lot better, you know, like just to be with my family just to have some sort of comfort. I don't know, when I was young, who did I have to prove to that I feel the need to leave my home state and be uncomfortable and challenge myself and all of that, but I don't regret that decision. And right now, I don't regret this decision. It is a little bit more boring, but at this moment right now, I feel like after years, struggling and working and founding my feet in New York, now I have given myself the permission to slow down and just to enjoy the mundane and yeah I mean life has been great I, I really am a lot more fortunate than a lot of people in my shoes you know like a lot of people in my community a lot of people who are in my shoes definitely would not have the privilege to say that they have things taken care of for them thank you so much for this question um, college college has been very challenging but again, it's also something that I'm put myself for and I want to do well at it. I, I just really want to end this on a good note and saying that thank you so much the Chosen family. You guys have been amazing. Like I could have not asked for a better community to support me during this time. And I will have to see you next time.